All right, so we're going to talk about concave up and concave down. So first, I'm going to give you the dodgy definition of concave up and concave down. All right, so that's going to be an easy way to remember it. Concave up, like a cave facing up, and concave down, a cave facing down. But this is not a good definition of concave up and concave down. So before we get into the definition, let's look at a graph. This is a graph. You don't need to care about what the actual equation is. It's just a nice graph. Now, you might want to pause the video here and think about what sections of this graph are concave up and what sections of this graph are concave down. While you're considering that, you might wonder, why have I put a little point A here with a little tangent line hanging off it? What's that going to do? What, what's that got to do with concave up and concave down? All right, so hopefully you've had a little bit of a think about it. Our good definition of concave up and concave down is all about the tangent. And so now we're going to look at what portions of this graph are concave up and what portions are concave down. Now, when we look at these pictures here, you can see that when I've drawn my concave up, if I draw some tangents to that graph, the tangents all have something in common. They're all underneath the graph, and that's a good definition of concave up. Similarly, concave down, all of the tangents are below, uh, sorry, above the graph, and that is a good definition of concave down. The two very important definitions here and here. Now, let's come back to our graph over here. So let's consider some of the obvious points to begin with. So over here, you can see that my tangent is above, above, above. Okay, so from um, everything less than this orange line, this x equals zero line, is concave up. All of that stuff is concave up from zero to negative infinity for this thing. Now, this next little bit, if we zoom in on that, you can see that my tangent is below, 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 below. It's still below. And it's going to be below for a little bit longer. Now, we're going to be able to figure out exactly when it's below. But just take my word for it now. At, for now. It's going to be below from uh, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2. And it's below, so that means it's concave up from there to there. And then we come back to here where the tangent is now above that line. And so that means it's concave down, concave down, and it's going to be concave down forevermore. So just summarizing all of that, from there backwards, from zero to negative infinity, the tangent is above. So that means that this is concave down here. In this portion of the graph right there, the tangents are all below our graph. So we can say from that portion, it's concave up. Sorry about that. And then all of this stuff, the tangents are all above the curve. So from 2 to positive infinity, we can say that it is again concave down. Okay, that's concave down and concave 